Okay, it's an unboxing for the new Simgot EA500 LM. LM is designation for the driver type, which is the lithium magnesium. This is a company, again, that uh, makes its bread and butter on drivers, building around drivers. The EA500 in its price range was using an exceptional driver. Um, the EA1000 does the same, and it's also using a kind of passive radiator. This is using the lithium magnesium driver. To my ears, I think it sounds amazing. If you look back at my video for the EA1000, which was, I never did a video, I did just uh, first impressions. The community loves that. I was less, um, I can't quite put my finger on it. I love it and I'm glad that everybody loves it, but I, it's not, sometimes the community has different opinions. Um, this is a set that's tuned very similar to that. I'm sure it's going to be more affordable and sounds audibly superior because of the driver within right here. Now, you can see that it's a kind of a gunmetal. Let me take this out. This would be the right side that's giving you the LM. The original one is more of just a pure, like chrome. This is a, a gunmetal. It's got this changeable nozzles. It's got uh, red, black, and gold. The gold is the one that was sent most recent to me, and it's the one that I prefer. I'm going to go ahead and put that back inside there so you get the IEMs. There you go. And then the next thing would be... It's going to destroy this, taking it apart. Oh, well. Next would be the accessories. You've got literature inside there. Inside this, you've got a nice cable. It is black and gold. This is 3.5 termination. It's nice. It's easily manageable. Easily managed. Decent cable. Looks nice. Put that over there with the cover and then inside here we've got um there's actually two pairs of nozzles so i switched out put one in here so there's black red and gold so you get the nozzles you also get tips which are large medium and small one thing to keep in mind is this is kind of a pre-production plus the final filter so i'm not really sure if some things might be slightly different, but I'm going to go ahead and assume it. I'm, I pretty much got it right here. Um, so you get the the metal, two IEMs, the cable, the uh, three types of filters, including whatever is on its stock, three types of tips. Um, I'll go ahead and share. Again, this is not 100% confirmed, but this is the this is the EA1000. This is the LM, and they look. This is lined up at 500. If I do it at the more traditional 1000, it looks just a bit slightly different. Um, the quality of the replay to my ear is superior on the LM than it is on the EA1000. And again, I, you can refer to my lack of doing a full review for the EA1000. I'm, I, I get why people love it. It's a great set. Um, it was a bit intense and it didn't seem to balance out just for me a little bit. The LM is, um, like a more technical EA 500 without that semi-intense upper mid treble, which seemed to be even more than what the graph would indicate. This actually doesn't sound like that. And I think that's down to quality of driver. That's the graph. And that's my first impressions. Um, it sounds really good. Not surprised. Um, I guess when I think about this company, I'll let you guys go. The more I wonder why other companies don't, since this is audio, let's, for example, there's a computer right there. It's all about the CPU, the GPU, and everything else is assisting that. The two processing cores, really, um, are doing all the work, and then everything else is important, but not like that. For earphones, it's the transducer. Again, dynamic driver, balanced armature, with your EST, planar, AMT, whatever you choose, the quality of that driver and how it's implemented is everything. Tuning is preference. 
the quality of the drivers, everything. And these guys are constantly using excellent drivers. Bravo to them. I hope that this turns out to be a hit with the public and you guys continue to grow. And I will definitely be doing a four view for this set. And I'm out.